Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm great, Dr. Kelts. How are you doing? It's spectacular. Another wonderful day. Oh, it absolutely is. It's I a great day out. It's a wonderful day to be taking a look at all of our options here. You know, it's interesting. Someone said it's Friday, a great day, and I could I looked outside and I couldn't tell. <laughs> and uh, But every day is a good day. Absolutely. And uh, what are we going to talk about today? Single embryo transfer. We have a lot of questions about who maybe should look into this, or is it okay to do a single embryo transfer and the merits of it? Well, I think single embryo transfer, we're growing on tremendously. Yes. There's some evidence now suggesting that if you put in more than one embryo, they mm -hmm. may be sort of competing against each other. Interesting. And if the good one implants and then the bad one's kind of starting to implant, it may actually affect the other one. So, mm -hmm. I mean, this, this is somewhat theory. Mm -hmm. Some studies are suggesting this, or anecdotal information. And I think certainly for any woman under 30, yes. one. Really? 30 to 35, one, maybe two. And and then uh, above that, is two max. That's yeah. where we're going to. That's great. We're also looking at uh, offering more and more PGS mm -hmm. or PGD, where we biopsy the embryos, identify the normal embryos. Mm -hmm. And since we're picking one embryo, we're more likely to yes. find that one embryo. And one good one. Yes. Now... Since our freezing is doing a lot better, we're mm -hmm. freezing at the blastocyst stage, which is either day five or day six, and sometimes day seven. Um, you know, it's your your you could follow them out that way, and if you're not doing PGE or PGS, you could still pick that one embryo, oh, great. and then when you're thawing that one, make it one. That's great. So I, I think that there's a lot more information that will help produce multiples, yes. and maybe even help uh, increase uh, single. Uh, uh, embryo implantation, obviously singleton baby. That's wonderful. I know the idea of how, how many do you choose, how do you make that decision is something that weighs heavily on our clients before they have these conversations, but then once they're able to sit down in the office and speak with you, speak with one of our practitioners, the whole world, it seems to make a little bit more sense. So I appreciate you taking the time explaining this. Well, it is important because it used to be we would quite commonly do yes. four or five, yes. and, and depending on the age and, mm -hmm. the, and the circumstances, but we're really moving to it's doing one or two. Mm -hmm. And uh, we think that that's going to show us some real promise in, in uh, helping uh, helping our clients conceive and have a baby. So. Great. Well, thank you very much for giving us more information about this, and I'm sure you'll be hearing more from us about other questions that we are fielding from clients. And if clients, you ever have anything that you'd really love us to address on the clinical side, please don't hesitate. We love to address it in video format. And then, of course, you can always message us within the portal and contact us with any questions. Always here. Thank you, Lisa. Absolutely. God bless. Thank you.